Hi guys, welcome to today's plumberparts.co.uk video. Today we're talking about adjustables. <laughs> and all of these beasts here, and everything you can see in this bag, everything that's around me, including this piece of wood, you can buy on our Amazon store. Anyway, let's get on with this week's Tools of the Trade. So you join me from the joy, the pure joy of my loft. <sighs> it's weird actually because the sun's decided to come out and that is a south facing elevation just there and that's all lovely black slate. So this week's tools I love is a simple one, but one of the most important tools you're gonna have in your sets, in everything that you do, it's these. The reason I love these particular ones, this one's okay, I've got a preference. This is the one I like more. I've had this old beast for, well, there's a story about this. I didn't actually buy this tool, which is unusual for me. These I actually found in a boiler. When I was a, an apprentice, we used to look after the boilers at a place called Girton College in Cambridge. And they have such big boilers there, you actually have to get inside them to clean out the burner chamber. So I opened the door on this boiler, had a look inside, and laying just down there on the bottom were two of these, two of them, okay? I actually lost one of them in another job. And the reason this black rubberized handle hadn't melted and fallen off and disappeared was because they had so many boilers at this college, this one had not fired up in a whole year. So not only did I get a couple of free spanners, probably worth about, I don't know, 50 quid, something like that, I actually also didn't have to service that boiler, which was a bit of a bonus. So yeah, why I like these particular ones is they're smoother than this. The, the, these are okay, they do open and close smoothly. I mean, I look after all my tools. They obviously do get wet. That is par for the course of being a plumber is that they get wet. But what I like about these is for the size, they have a very wide jaw width, which means like, look, so look, that is the jaw width on that. So that is a jaw width of 41 mil, probably started out at 40 mil, and they've spread a bit over the years. 40 mil, but if you get a standard set of backhoes, which are just as good, I like these. So these only go to, 31 mil, but that extra 10 mil makes a huge, huge difference uh, when it comes to getting on stuff. Backhoes for me are the adjustables that I buy. I always have backhoe adjustables on board. Um, I even have, I don't know if this is, are these backhoe? I've got, oh no, these are ox, these ones are ox. I got these ones because number one, they're also quite wide for the size that they are, but also they've got a really, really fine blade on them for the actual adjustable where it grips itself. Um, so that's quite handy for getting onto nuts that are really, really small. If you're tightening up onto something that you've got other nuts around it that you don't want to round off and things like that, that's when these come in really handy. And it's got this handy little push on thing that you can undo stuff, and that's what I use it for. You can push it onto a nut and that'll undo and all that sort of stuff. So my adjustables, look at them now. We get, we're now getting a bit of a set. Now why have I got two that is the same? These are my main ones, and these are the ones I use for doing up and undoing stuff. That's why I've always got two of them, and they always live just down in here. This one gets used less regularly, it just sort of lives in there. This one gets used very, very infrequently as well. And then my last little adjustable that comes up actually, it goes with this. I don't even know who makes this one. I think this might be CK, I think. It's got a little rat on it or it looks like a beaver on the edge of it, I don't know. This gets used all the time, this does. And that lives in a real easily accessible bit and that works with this little ox one here. Now, because I do have my mini backhoe set as well, I've got a real small backhoe, but I'm using this one a bit more because I like the fact that it's got a wide jaw on it. I still like it, it's still really handy. I've used it on what I'm doing here, I'm fitting this at the moment and it's done a really, really good job. So there we go, that's what I want to show you, my adjustables, tools I love, tools that you guys are gonna have to have to be able to do it, buy yourself some backhoes. They are absolutely class. There is one other one. This is the anomaly here. This is an ox absolute mammoth beast. Now the width on this, I think is 51 millimeters. This will go, which means I can sometimes get this onto pump valve unions, which is really, really handy. Just a little thing for you as well. If you're very new to plumbing or doing any of this sort of work, there is a right and a wrong way to use an adjustable spanner. So if you are tightening something, so we're gonna tighten it, you will always use a spanner like that in that motion. If you're loosening, you'll turn it round and go up like that because it makes it so the spanner can't spread. Basically spanners don't like that because imagine all that pressure on that tongue there at the bottom. Always keep an eye out for that. And also keep an eye out for nuts that have got little nicks in them because if they've got nicks in them on the, just on the corners of each of the hex, that usually denotes it's a left-hand thread. 
always keep an eye out for that as well. But yeah, so that's my set of adjustables. That's what I use. These are what are in my bag every day. So if you have a proper look at it all, we've got this beast here. Then we've got the slightly sort of smaller one, but it's got a longish shaft on it. In fact, you know what? I could probably almost get rid of that, but sometimes the thing is with a big set of adjustables, you've got this big sort of shoulder on here that you don't, you don't really want to be there sometimes. It can get in the way. Um, so that's why I have different sets of adjustables all the time. My two beautiful backhoes that I use all the time. And I've got my smaller ones. And these are the adjustables that I have in my tool bag, in my hand tool bag. These are the ones that come into the house first every time on every job that I'm ever doing. So you'll see me using these all the while, basically. And if you see me use another pair, I've probably lost them. And that's why they're not in there anymore. <laughs> oh, tools. Can you hear my tools? My adjustable spanner. I sound like Phil Mitchell. Oi, let's go down the Vic with our spanners. Join the Ale Army. I'll see you tomorrow evening, Ale Army, you lot. 6.30, live on a Thursday night. Hold tight.